Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new feature by TinyCam Monitor. Uh, it's an app in the Android Play Store to use your Android phone as a dash cam. So first step is to download the app from the Play Store. So go to Google Play, type in TinyCam, and you should find the uh, app called TinyCam Monitor. They have a free version and a pro version. I have the pro version. I highly recommend um, using it. Uh, I'm uh, enrolled in the beta version. Right now, the beta version has the uh, dash cam feature in it, but I'm sure once the developer sees that it's stable, he'll release it to the regular version. If you want to join the beta, you got to go to the Google page uh, in order to join. So click uh, download it, then click open. Then what you do is you click on manage cameras. And click plus. Click add Android camera. And it says camera added at the end. So over here you name the camera. You choose the encoder, uh, H.264 is usually better. Uh, the camera device, you can choose the back or your front camera. And you can even have them running simultaneously if you want to record the front and back. Then here's some advanced settings. You could choose motion detection, right? So if you have um, your camera sitting on your dash, it, you can have it that's not recording unless there's actually motion. And here's uh, multiple features. You can get an email motion, right? So if you have the camera, your phone set up in your car, you can get an email alert whenever there is motion. Uh, here's multiple features, you know, wake on motion, uh, record to a local s storage, right? These are all like dash cam features, right? If you, if you feel motion, record. Uh, record it even to Dropbox, there's online, right? So if someone steals your car, you still got video footage. I mean, here's uh, recording features. So here you could choose the frame rate. So one is a little slow. You want to change that to either like 15 or 30. Uh, you could choose which one you want. So I'm going to do 30 for now. Uh, time lapse. So you can make it that it'll go through um, at a faster speed. This way, when you're watching through uh, motion, that you don't have to see uh, multiple, you know, multiple very slow motion things. You can see it much quicker. So here's the recording coda. Uh, you can set how much uh, memory, uh, how much storage you want to allow your phone to use for the videos. Uh, I recommend putting that at a much higher uh, number if you're going to be using it. Uh, you know, at a high resolution. Uh, here's the recording frame rate for cloud recording. So you could do a, a slower frame rate if you want uh, it to go to the cloud so it's not taking up as much space. And here's FTP, you know, if you have that kind of storage. And here's advanced settings, uh, a couple of other features. So the, the there's, you could use this as a dash cam, but I'll also use it as a home security camera. Uh, you could just, you know, take an old Android phone that's running at least, I think, Android 4.3 or 4.4, I forgot uh, what he, what the requirements are. And uh, once you, you're all finished the settings, you can click on camera status, and I'll open up and I'll show you the all, all the specs and let you know what's going on. Right, so if you hear, it says secure connection, displayed frames 30.3 frames per second, and it's receiving 30 frames per second, right? It's dropping zero frames, it's very good. Right, that means that I know when I uh, start using this recording that it's going to do a nice clear uh, picture, a clear video. So th those are all those settings. Um, now, you could uh, even have this running in the background. That that's just a really cool feature. Um, so you could click on background mode. And... Uh, it's best to plug it in if you're gonna have this running in background mode for a long time. But over here, you could uh, click your camera that you just set up, your dash cam, let's say, and then you can press play. 
right? And if you remember before in the settings, you have to choose record on motion, etc. So you could have this always running in the background mode plugged in in your car, but it's not going to actually record unless it detects motion, right? So therefore, you're not going to have a ton of useless uh, footage, right? So I'm going to press play and I'm going to let it record while I'm driving and then I'll show you the video of how it looks. So this is how it's press play. Right, you can see a stop button. Now it's really cool over here. You can just go out and if you notice on the top it'll show you that um, the background cameras it shows you that it's recording at you know 30 frames per second and that's running in the background. So now if you want you can just uh, click on your you know your navigation app you know open up Google Maps let's say and go drive to your destination and meanwhile everything is recording like usual you can play music in the background you can do whatever you want with your phone because as you, as I mentioned it's right here recording in the background and you don't have to do anything thank you for watching and here's the video